so much time goes into um, a sacrifice of time. I think so much time goes into uh, transitioning. And you, um, of course, it's never, you know, very smooth, you know, for anyone. There's always, you know, it's a very much a roller coaster transitioning is. I lost a lot of time uh, where, where I could have been and should have been doing, you know, other things to further myself along as a human being, not just as a transgendered person. It was never really an issue for me because I didn't care. Um, it only became an issue when I decided to get married and I was going to move to the south and I didn't think it would be the safest place to being, uh, to having a male on a female looking ID. Because before, before I had considered anything for my own safety, I didn't give a shit, you know. So TSA was always kind of fun. You know, I know a lot of girls get really bothered by it, but I just had, you know, you have to find humor in a lot of things too. So, you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, what good are you? When I was young, when I was like 13, I think I was 13, I uh, told my parents I was gay. And I didn't know what transgender was then. I didn't, you know, I didn't know anything uh, about transgender, being transgender. I just naturally started transitioning, you know, uh, when I was like 15, I started transitioning slowly. So I never came out as being transgendered. I guess it was probably when I moved out of the house and I got, I had been, I got hired. I started wearing um, breast inserts when I was like my senior year of high school. Not all the time though, you know, because I knew it made my dad uncomfortable. But I got a job um, in the city in Chicago. And I was I was wearing breast inserts when I went in there, and I, w I was hired at the at a wig shop because I was transgender, and, and uh, I went in uh, for my first day of work, not like you know really, kind of like in a baseball cap and just not really caring. And they were like, "Oh, we hired you because we thought you were gonna come in here and like you know dress up every day and like with your boobs and everything." And I was like, "Oh." I worked at Beatniks in Chicago. It's uh, they've got one in Miami too, but. It's, it's a cool little spot, you know, it's where all the drag queens and trannies go to buy their wigs and stuff. And I probably would have pushed my parents a little bit more when I was younger to uh, take it more seriously, but I also didn't know what to call it either. So um, I would have tried, tried transitioning earlier, maybe, you know, with medication, you know. Um, but that being said too, I probably would have ended up having SRS at an early age too, which I, I am so glad I've never, I never did. I had saved much money for it. I was planning on doing it when I was like 20. But yeah, I probably, if I would have started taking hormones at 15 or 16, I probably would have ended up having SRS. I think a lot of people, times people felt like they had to have SRS to be complete, and really, you don't. You know, it's just a really, it is a, it's, it's very much preference. I don't mind having a penis, you know? It doesn't bother me. When I was younger, I thought it, you know, I thought it was awful, you know, but I was also, you know, you're young, you're going through everything else that every young person goes through, you know, your hormones are up and down, and then, then you throw being transgendered on top of it, you know, so I can't say it would change anything either. So I was living in small town Illinois, and I uh, was in this relationship that really wasn't going anywhere, and I was ready to get out of Illinois. And uh, I thought, what the hell am I gonna do? So I went and took some pictures with a friend downtown in Chicago and they turned out really great. And I just had these pictures sitting on my computer and I thought, what the hell am I gonna do with these pictures, you know? I thought, I wonder what, what kind of reaction I would get if I'd sent them into uh, a porn company. And immediately I got a response back saying, oh, we'd love to photograph you. and. Um, that was groovy. This is, you know, almost, a, it'll be nine, it's nine years this month, actually. And then I, I, I they had um, wanted to fly me out to California from Illinois, and I thought, holy shit, this is great, you know. So I came out for a week, did a couple shoots, made some nice money, which, you know, was, I would, it would take me a month to have made that, you know, back home. Then I just, I thought that I was going to make a lot more money at first than I did, so I decided I had to move to California because that's where, the, where they were making porn. They weren't making it in Chicago. The people. 
and it's also what I hate about being in it as well.